Hey guys, and welcome back to another week in Dear Piggy's Basic Algorithms and Java Tutorials. So now we are finally on week six, meaning that we have this week left, then we have two more weeks of videos left, and then we will be done with our basic algorithms tutorials, right? I feel like it's gone by so fast, and we've been learning a new pod topic every week, which I realize is actually really fun, right? Instead of having lots of different random things thrown together, we have one topic a week, two videos, one explaining the introduction, tell a story, then the code concept, and the next one is about us actually writing the code, right? So today, our new topic is going to be something similar to bubble sort, so still a sorting method, meaning our story is going to be quite similar, but I'm going to try my best to give, you know, give the audience something new because I know that's what you guys are coming to watch for. But um, yeah, so today we are going to be talking about insertion sort. And so insertion sort is another sort of sorting method that's going to essentially sort numbers in an array from least to greatest, right? Oftentimes when we start off with algorithms and in a lot of these um, courses in high school and college, you're going to be sorting lots of different things, right? So sorting is an algorithm that's going to stick with us for forever, basically, right? For quite a long time. So let's talk about insertion sort. Well, again, I'm going to show you these appetizing, delicious cookies, but um, I'm going to change my story based off of this a little bit just to make it more fun. So we're just sorting pies today. Um, it is March, and so I figured since Pi Day is coming up, we're going to do something about pies, right? So our cookie business is booming, but now I'm just going to start to branch off into pies because maybe, you know, it's more profitable, right? So pies are another main attraction. So we had a sort of opening day, and so in our opening day for our pies, we had samples of all sorts of different types of pies, and people came in and they tried pies on their own, and they sampled them. Right. So while they were sampling them, we made, I guess, we collected data. We said, which pies do people seem like they like the most and which pies they come back for the most, which pies um, sold out the most after our opening day. Right. So all of that data was collected. And so since we baked an assortment of pies from assortment of flavors, we're only going to end up focusing on a few pies because, um, you know, it's still Sunny's cookie business but um, pies are just a side thing, right? So from our array of pie sales, we want to sort it again from least to greatest so that we can see which pie flavors we want to continue to work with and market and actually, I guess, make them, right? So story in the gist of it is similar to how we're um, our bubble sort code, but I gave you a little twist on it, right? It's Sunny's cookie and pie business. Maybe it'll branch off the donuts in the future. And then, you know what, maybe it'll just become a full franchise and we're gonna, we're gonna sell desserts everywhere, right? So that is essentially insertion sort. Remember, anything that you have sorts, they're technically four methods that kind of go together with um, bubble sort and insertion sort. They all essentially do the same thing, just in different ways. Right, so sorting from least to greatest. Now let's talk about what the actual code concept of the insertion sort is. So just as a refresher, um, we're gonna remind you what bubble sort is because these two kind of come hand in hand like best friends. Bubble sort was essentially, we looked at pairs of numbers and then we swapped them based on their order using a triangular shape method, right? So our main focus was our triangular sort method. Now our insertion sort is going to look a little bit different. So it's still a sorting algorithm and it's still going to iterate through each element and compare it, but this time with all of them on the left. So bubble sort compared it with the one, so like two, so they only focused on one other element. Insertion sort is going to focus on essentially all the different elements on the left of the element you're currently looking at. Right, so since I guess a key word of insertion sort is the word left, then that means that we need to start from the second element or the first index, and that would be index one or the second element. Why? Because if we started from the very, very first um, number at the very left of our array, well, if we try to go to the left of it, we would get an out of bounds exception and our code would not run. Right, so it's very, very important that we start from the first index there. 
Um, we talked about how it's comparing it to the items on the left and moving it. We will talk more about time complexity in our next video when I actually start showing you the code. But for now, we're going to be using two loops, one inside of another. Now, they're not going to be two for loops, right? That's different. So the first one is an outer for loop. The next one is an inner while loop. But still, since you have two loops nested inside of each other, it would be O of n squared time complexity, right? So that is just the time complexity for insertion sort. The last thing that I want to talk about before we go on to talking about coding is I want to take a look at this picture here. So as you know, we're going to start from our leftmost um, index that is one over, meaning we start from three over here. Now three is going to compare to those all on its left, which in this case is only one number, which is four. And so since three is less than four, it's going to get swapped. Then it's going to move on to the next number. Two is going to do the same thing. Now in all of these first three examples that are have red on them, they always go to the very, very front. But notice that's not always the case. Well, first of all, when we look at 10 over here and 12 over here, they're already in their right order. We don't need to swap them, so they don't need to move. However, for this five and six, notice how they did not ju jump all the way to the front here. This is why we're ending up using a while loop, because we want to say while the numbers to the left of it are greater than the current number, continue to move it over. However, as soon as five, starts getting less than or um, starts being bigger than the numbers to the left of it, that is when we want to stop. So I think that was, I kind of messed that up. Let me rephrase that. We want it to keep going over and over. We want it to keep shifting to the left, given that the number on its right, the new number on its right is greater than itself. So the first round five would move over here in between 10 and 12, but since 12 is still bigger and 10 is still bigger, we would move it again over here in between four and 10. But since we know that five comes between four and 10 and that makes sense, then we are done, right? So we use a while loop essentially symbolizing that we don't need it to go all the way to the very end. We just need to put it in the right spot so that it's in the right order, right? Same thing with six, six will end up here. So essentially, after you do this process over and over and over for all of your elements, you're going to end up with a sorted array from least greatest, right? So that is the code concept behind insertion sort. I hope you guys enjoyed my new twist on Sunny's cookie and pie business. And I hope you guys understand the concept behind our insertion sort so that we can start getting the coding in our next video. And I think this video was short. I don't know, because sometimes when I talk too much, I end up getting carried away. But next video, we're going to start coding it up. So I will see you guys then. Bye, guys. See you in the next video.